Greetings and salutations to all of you lovely people out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to another installment of Counter Reaction. So, in today's episode, we're going to be reacting to Falling in Reverse, I'm Not a Vampire, and in parentheses it says Revamped, which from a hip-hop songwriter, I appreciate it. I like that. Just putting that out there. Now then. I really wish that these videos were doing a whole lot better. I don't know what I can do to assist that. You guys know I could definitely do, you know, hip hop head reacts to, songwriter reacts to, rapper reacts to, Mexican reacts to, like, I can do all of that shit, but it doesn't really, uh, it's just not me. I think it's a little predatory. I've mentioned that in past videos before. So, you know, any support that you guys want to show to this video or this channel would be greatly appreciated. I did want to do the trilogy and I did find a video that had it, um, had all three of the songs, but that's 15 minutes. I did two Eminem songs back to back, which was Castle in a Rose. And that was a 50 minute video and took me about four hours to edit. Because if some of you guys don't know, the reason why I look away from the camera is because I'm camera shy. And what happens is I'll say something to my screen and then I have to repeat it to the camera. So it's not your guys' fault. It's not because it's too long. It's just uh, with how, you know, I record. It's a little difficult right now, but I will get to it at some point in the near future. But anyways, I am not too sure what to expect from this one, aside from the music video being dope. I mean, that's been consistent in every single music video that I've reacted to from Falling in Reverse. And for the most part, all the music has been amazing. There's only been one song that I wasn't too fond of, but it wasn't a bad song. It just wasn't, uh, just wasn't for me personally. But anyways, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into it. The composition so far is lending itself to the title. It's fitting. That lyric sounds very familiar. I don't know what that's from. Maybe it's not a reference or him paying homage. It's just a coincidence, I think. And mothers better lock your doors and hide your
que firme. Ok, I need to rewind that part because kind of threw me for a loop and I, my brain was focusing on other things. But it sounded rushed. And also you guys, the fan base of, of Falling in Reverse that watch these videos, I think there's only been one or two that have like kind of popped off and been mad at my critiques of like his rapping. Um, but for the most part, you guys have all been, you know, great. You guys have all been very understanding and uh you know i can't say the same for a lot of other uh fan bases here on the channel so i appreciate that and that's another reason why I, I would love if these videos did better it's not on you guys and it's definitely not on falling in reverse they have you know they have a massive following and they make great music it's all on me just not doing my job as a content creator um or willing to do the things that i'm just not willing to do so It was more like it was being supported by uh, some sort of emotion. And that's why when I first heard it, I didn't really, I wasn't paying attention to whether or not mo emotion was being conveyed. But I get it. It's like this anxious, like frustrated type of note, which uh, which I can appreciate. Let's rewind it again. That's funny. Yeah, I was I was raised on a lot of different genres of music. Um, I did my own exploring, sure, but I loved Black Sabbath as well. Um, the line that stuck that stuck out that I didn't really like was the whole, you know, I'm like a, a lady that's pregnant with a baby. Um, he's always throwing up. I'm assuming that's from, you know, the drug addiction. So throwing up is usually uh, tied to um, either pills or when um, I'm gonna have to bleep that out, but we'll just say black for the code name. Um, but, uh, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and rewind it. Um, but I did like when the piano was introduced. There was different keys being played. I liked it. I'm an addict. Mm, and daddy okay. should have never mm. raised me. I really like the villain-esque like vocals from Ronnie and then just the synergy from the choir. Um, yeah, no, I really like that contrast. And she's gorgeous, man. I'm just gonna say that again. Yeah, she's a she's a ten out of ten. She she makes a playlist every single time. Just just, just putting that out there. Um, but yeah, this is cool. I like how it kind of developed and changed uh, a little. I guess maybe midpoint to the midway point of of the actual music video. Um, things are seeming to you know seemingly intensifying. So uh, yeah, I always love when music evolves. I've said that plenty of times on this channel, and and theirs definitely does a lot of the time. So it's another reason why I appreciate them as a as a as a band as musicians. So let's uh, let's continue. I'm so cold for Very relatable.
relatable as well. What I really want to know is if the instrumentation was recorded from a live band or live musicians because sometimes with a lot of music these days you don't know if they're just uh, you know if they're just from a software or if they were actually rec were recorded um, I feel like in this instance they were live uh, they were recorded live I, I could definitely be wrong but it just sounds, it sounds beautiful. I loved that violin. It was good. Okay, let's rewind. So God bless all of you now. Cause I'm going straight to You know what's funny? When the uh, choir was introduced, I was going to say it's reminding me of a Disney film. Like, you know, just the uh, the composition from that part. And this is giving me Beauty and the Beast vibes a little bit. Um, just with this, this mob of people that were just introduced. Um, and Beauty and the Beast happens to be my favorite Disney movie of all time. And it's mainly because of... Uh, the original soundtrack but I am digging the music video though it's uh, shot extremely well and then the mixing from the song is it's always on point man I'd be so interested in seeing what the stems look like on this track like it's uh it's I'm sure it's all over the place um so shout out to uh to whoever did the mixing for this uh for this song I'm just gonna assume he's gonna slaughter all of them. I could be wrong. I'm just gonna assume. <laughs> I don't know who Derek Jones is, but rest in peace, Mr. Derek, sir. Um, yeah, I was wrong on that last one. You know, I think in, yeah, it was Popular Monster. You slaughtered, like, the SWAT team or whoever that was. I believe it was the SWAT team. Um, and then Zombified, he's blasting zombies. Um, there was another one, too. 
was it or was it, I might be getting some of them mixed up. But yeah, there's always some sort of violence going on. He's always, you know, usually, you know, tearing people up with some sort of weapon or claws. But um okay, yeah, pleasant surprise. Like I said, I really like this song. The composition is what kind of stood out to me over everything else. Of course, he hit those notes extremely well. I'm 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 expecting that from Ronnie. I've heard him sing enough times to know that he knows how to execute in almost every register that he sings in extremely well. Now, this was more of an experience for me, and a lot of their music videos definitely are, but some of them kind of, you know, they just lend themselves to being a better songs depending on on how they're written but uh, i still enjoyed it nonetheless this isn't one of my favorite songs from them it's just not really for me very orchestral and operatic of course there was uh the the, the choir um really really enjoyed that bit now i do say all that to say this <laughs> Now, please remember, on my scale, a no-lister is a song that I'm grateful for having heard, but won't really play again. Like, there's no reason for me to. I heard it once, and I just move on to the next one. Uh, Blacklister is something that I regret hearing. It just wasn't good whatsoever. And I do have a playlist on the channel now for no-listers and playlisters, so if you're interested, feel free to kind of, you know, skim through, through the list and see what else is on there. But that is going to be all for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I do hope to catch you all on the next one.